Hello viewers, in this video, we are going to learn something about Abacus. So, you know, first of all, we have to understand what is Abacus first. So Abacus is one of the oldest device, the first calculating device that was invented to ease, you know, counting, to ease addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division before the introduction of the modern calculating devices. So Abacus was in use for about hundreds, thousands years back. So therefore, and Abacus is still in use today. So that is why I use this opportunity, you know, to help our students and teachers to learn the basics of the Abacus. Now, let us briefly look at the concept or the component of the Abacus. So, this is what you call the abacus, and uh, it is of different types. So this one, we call it Soroban abacus. We have other types of abacus, such as the school abacus, such as the Chinese abacus, and so on and so forth. So based on this video, we are going to work with this Soroban abacus that was designed with lower bit and upper bit, and it is already uh, a rectangular you know, object. So in this type of abacus, so there is what you call the answering bar or equal bar that is, you know, placed in between the lower bit and the upper bit so that each bit that touches this equal bar, so it is, you know, telling the value of the abacus. So therefore, like this abacus as it is, it is zero abacus. The value of this abacus is zero. So depending on the rod, each four bits, you know, determine their value depend on the place value. For example, if this is your unit, so we have four units here, and the upper bit is five. So this is, we have nine units in the unit rod. And if this is your tens, so we have four tens, meaning 40. And this one is the same as five tens. Therefore, we have... 90. Likewise here, this is 100, so we have 400, and this one is equivalent to 500, therefore we have 900. So this is how the abacus was designed. Unit rod, 10th rod, 100, 1000, 10,000, and so on. And you can also, you know, let this, the first rod to be your unit, so that here you have 4. Here you have 40, here you have 400, here you have 4,000, and so on. And here you have 5, here you have 50, here you have 500, and here you have 5,000, and so on. So this is how this type of our course was designed to represent numbers easily. So thank you very much for watching. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ijima Solutions, for more of this interesting videos and exciting videos thank you very much for watching see you in the next video